What up folks, it's Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. In this video, I've got a real practical one for you because I'm going to show you how to set up and use a standard transition. Now, if you've not heard the term standard transition before, DaVinci Resolve allows you to set one transition to be your standard transition and then you can apply that transition on your timeline at any point using a simple keyboard shortcut. Really useful if you've got that one transition you're using all the time. You don't need to mess around in the menus. You can just hit Control and T, which is the keyboard shortcut, to apply your transition. As a bonus, it also makes it really easy to apply that transition over multiple cuts on your timeline as well. So let's open DaVinci Resolve and take a look, shall we? So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the Edit tab. Now the first thing we're gonna do, open up the effects library, expand the toolbox, and then first of all, we're gonna have a look at video transitions. Now I don't know if you've ever noticed, but one of the transitions within this list will have this little red marker next to it. So mine is next to dip to color dissolve. That little red marker means that this transition is set as my standard transition. Now you can set any transition within this list as your standard. So it can be any of the standard default transitions that come with DaVinci Resolve. It could be any of your use of presets that you've created. It can even be any of the fusion transitions you may have imported. So to set it as a standard transition, all you do, find the one you want, right click it, and then we click set as standard transition. So I'm gonna set the blur as my standard. And as you can see, it now has this little red marker next to it. Now we're gonna jump into the audio transitions. Now there's much fewer of these, but as you can see, there's a little red marker here as well. So I've got the zero decibel crossfade as my standard transition in here. So how do you actually use it? Well, all you need to do, hover your mouse over a cut within your timeline. So I can click this point here and I can select that point on my timeline where these two clips meet. And then we can just use the shortcut Control and T. So I'm gonna hit Control and T and it's just gonna apply our standard transitions to that cut. So now we've got a blur transition on my video track and I've got a simple crossfade on my audio track. I'm just gonna delete that a moment. If I only wanted to set my video transition, so I want to use my standard video transition here, but I don't want my audio crossfade, that's easy to do. When we come down to select this point, just hold the Alt key, we'll click the video, and that will just select the video track, not the audio track. So then if I hit my Control and T, it will just apply the video transition. Of course, you can do the opposite. If I hold the Alt key and then just click on the audio and then Control and T, it will just apply my standard crossfade. Now, the joy of using these standard transitions is A, it's much quicker. It's really easy just to apply that transition without even thinking about it using Control and T. Now it also means, let's make some additional cuts in here. If we select everything, like so, and then just Control and T, it will attempt to apply that standard transition to all of the cuts that we've selected. Now I've got this error message come up. Add transitions. Some of the clips selected have insufficient handles to apply the transition. You can choose to trim the clips and shorten the timeline or skip the clips with insufficient handles. So as you may already be aware, DaVinci Resolve needs a little bit of excess footage either side of the cuts in order to make the transition happen. This is saying that some of our cuts don't have that, so we can either trim the clips or we can skip them entirely. So I'm gonna hit trim. It's gonna make the trims where necessary and then just apply the transitions. So we've got all of the transitions and every one of the cuts on our timeline. It's a great way of applying a transition over multiple cuts. Now there's also another little trick. If you want to apply a different transition but over multiple different cuts on your timeline, you can do the same thing just in a slightly different way. So let's select everything on our timeline once again. This time we're not gonna use our Control and T shortcut. Instead, what we're gonna do is go to our video transitions, find the one that's not marked as our standard, so let's just use push for now. And we're gonna right click and there's an option to add two selected edit points and clips. We'll click that. We get the same message as before, so I'm just gonna to go to trim clips. And now it's applied that video transition to all of the areas that we selected. Of course, you can do the exact same thing for audio. So let's say you've got lots of music tracks all lined up and you're trying to just fade them one into another without having to do it all manually. 
we can just select all of the audio tracks. We can go to audio transitions. We can go to crossfade, right click, add to selected edit point to end clips and done. It's added those crossfades to every single one of the edit points of the cut within the timeline. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, folks, thumbs up if you did. Any comments or feedback, shove them down below. And if you're new here, you did enjoy this video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button to see more. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. Bye.